Hello, welcome to the Left Turn, the Geo35 channel. And this is the second video in my uh, urban planning series focusing on Jacksonville, Florida. I'd like to take a, a moment uh, today to talk about the Automated Skyway Express. And I'd like to share with you uh, some thoughts that I've had uh, and share with you uh, some ideas uh, and tell you a little bit about the background and why the Skyway Express in downtown Jacksonville looks the way it does. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised because there are some things out there about the Skyway Express that you may not know and it may illuminate you uh, uh, and uh, give you some background about why uh, why it's there and, and why it's not as successful as it could be. Uh, as a child, you know, I grew up here in Jacksonville and uh, I remember when the Skyway Express uh, was first built and, you know, people called it the, uh, the, uh, the train to nowhere. And, uh, you know, it was immediately panned as, as a boondoggle. And here we are in 2011. And, uh, yes, from the outset, I, as an urban planner, an amateur urban planner with a minor in urban planning, but with no... Uh, you know, urban planning, actual practical experience, will tell you it, at the outset, uh, at first glance, uh, the Skyway Express is a boondoggle. But it's a boondoggle because what was supposed to construct, be a construct surrounding the Skyway Express, was never built. So let me tell you a story. And it's back in the early 90s. It was back when... Uh, Dinosaurs were on the earth. The internet had uh, not really developed uh, as we know it. Uh, so uh, it was uh, a totally different time. Uh, and I was at uh, community college. Uh, it was at that time, it was called uh, Florida Community College of Jacksonville, Kent Campus. Now it's Florida State College. Uh, and uh, I was actually, of all things, preparing a speech for my speech class. And uh, I, uh, I believe it was talking about, you know, it was a technical talk. Uh, and uh, so I was kind of interested in, in urban planning, even at that early age. And actually, if you go back um, into my channel, you'll see where um, I talk about one of the most inspirational books, which came up, uh, about around that time. So this was probably, this was 94, and I uh, found this uh, planning uh, booklet in the library, and uh, I looked at it, it was fascinating, it showed all these different maps of possible road construction, uh, some roads that have just now been built or in the process of being built, and talked about the Skyway Express. And the whole idea of what the Skyway Express was to have been was that the rail lines that extend out in all directions from Jacksonville, well, in the north-south corridors from uh, heading up, uh, paralleling Highway 17 from Orange Park, and then uh, paralleling US-1 and dipping in to downtown across the Acosta Bridge, uh, those rail lines were supposed to feed into these Skyway Express stations. For example, the one on King Street with the big parking garage. Uh, the, um, the idea, the concept of the whole project was that theoretically you would park at a rail station in Orange Park or in Mandarin uh, near off of 9A, uh, uh, near the, near the uh, rail line and you would get on a commuter rail and you would go into the city and all the automated Skyway Express was was simply a shuttle that would take you uh, if you arrived at King Street could take you across the river to the uh, community college to Heming Plaza uh, what you're looking at when you see the Skyway Express is not a whole of the project it is maybe 10% of what was ever meant to be constructed in the city of Jacksonville. 
So when you hear the politicians rail about the boondoggle and talk about ending it, you have to keep in mind that the reason the Skyway Express exists is because the city did not invest in commuter rail. So, where do we go from here? Yes, you, you do have a, uh, a rail line that really doesn't seem to go anywhere. You, you can go, I guess you can go to convent, from the convention center up to the community college. Uh, you can go across the, uh, the uh, Acosta uh, on it from King Street. You know, it, it's got some a little bit of mobility if you're parking somewhere and you want to go further into downtown. But it really, in its um, in its current form, is unsustainable. And yes, in its current form, it's a boondoggle and it's a waste of time. And it's a waste of funds. If, and only if, we're not going to construct commuter rail in Jacksonville. If we are going to construct um, commuter rail in Jacksonville, then we need the Skyway Express, especially if we do a Gator Bowl extension. Think about it. You can park in Orange Park at some sort of commuter rail station, maybe below 295, and you can take the train all the way into King Street, then transfer and go to the Gator Bowl. You don't have to park, except near where you live. You can have a great day, you can enjoy the scenery. Uh, if, let's say, you need to go to City Hall, like me, instead of driving to City Hall, uh, let's say I wanted to go down to City Hall or the county courthouse or the federal courthouse or, or to the downtown library, I could do a short jaunt from where I live over to Orange Park and take the train in without driving, without worrying about one-way streets, uh, traffic, uh, parking. All that would be resolved with a basic parking lot uh, and a quick, uh, a quick ride into town. The thing about it is it's that, it's that people look at the piece, but they don't understand the whole. They don't understand the whole concept. And yes, I will say the leadership of this city, uh, no matter how good some of the mayors have been in the past, not the current one, but you know, I, I think that there were some great ideas, but in this case, you know, our leadership has missed the boat, and they're continuing to miss the boat. You know, but if we're not going to do it, if we're going to continue to to just simply be a car a car culture and uh, a car just a car centric sprawled out uh, metropolis then then by all means let's take let's dismantle the Skyway Express take the cost that we would be spending on operations and kick it into massive bus and road improvements there are things we can do if we're not going to do commuter rail we can take that money and we can actually improve the driving experience of Jacksonville improve the the traffic situation uh, you know, I think the country has to make a decision over the next couple of years. Are we going to continue to cut and not really invest and continue to be car centric? Or are we going to go towards the future? And at this point, with the economic uh, situation the way it is, you know, I don't think we can afford to have the Skyway Express drifting off for another five to 10 years, sucking taxpayer money, not really doing anything. Uh, if we're not going to do the commuter rail project, if there's not going to be that, that push to do it, then let's go ahead and consider dismantling and uh, taking the money and, and using it elsewhere. Because the plan was great years ago. Uh, fascinating plan. But it was of its time. You know, it was a, co you know, a concept. Um, it was an idea. But it seems that the country doesn't seem to, and the state, certainly Rick Scott doesn't, uh, and the city doesn't seem to have that vision. Uh, but you know what, I, I share this with you with the hope that some of you out there can see the big picture. Uh, it, I just, I guess I'm amazed about things, about how there's such a lack of uh, just basic knowledge out there. You know, it, 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 
it does sometimes uh, just you know it, it it boggles my mind sometimes that you know people sometimes uh, can't see the forest for the trees but I understand uh, so thanks for watching my urban planning series and, and thanks for watching the geo 35 channel uh, please you know subscribe uh, if you have any comments feel free to uh, to uh, upload a reaction or comment uh, what do you think about the Skyway Express? Is the uh, Skyway Express worth it as part of a, a, a commuter rail plan for Jacksonville? Should we do as I've suggested and just decide that simply it, it, we're not going to do it and start taking that money and, and uh, putting it into uh, to our roads and into a busway, maybe a, a tramway uh, for the city? You know. The different ideas out there, and, and I sure would like to encourage your, your involvement. Take it easy. See you later.